Hi, so I'm here for the live class. Hopefully you guys saw what it was already on our previous Instagram post from yesterday. This one's gonna be kind of similar to the Saturday classes. We've had really good feedback. A lot of you guys really, really like those ones. Um, so like the big workout, so it's 10 rounds. Um, you've got 20 minutes to get it done. So um, if you get to 20 minutes and you um, are done with it, <laughs> then you can stop there, that's fine. So it's gonna be five dumbbell thrusters on your right arm, five on your left arm, five burpee deadlifts, and then 50 skips. I'll show you what the um, no equipment version is in a second. So for a dumbbell thruster, it's essentially like a squat down and then drive up. So we're doing it single arm because it is a little bit easier, like they're quite hard on your mobility. Um, if you wanna, if you've only got like two light weights, then go for a weight in each hand and do um, double arm ones. So you're going all the way down and then driving up like that. So make sure your butt goes past parallel and then your arm fully locks out at the top. So five on one arm, five on the other. Uh, like I said, if, you, if you've only got like those really small dumbbells, um, then you can just do it like this and go for like 10 or 15 reps. Burpee deadlift, um, if you've got two heavier dumbbells, then go for them. So you put both your dumbbells down, jump your chest in between the dumbbells, jump your feet up and then stand up. Um, if you've only got one, then it's fine. Just, um, just jump one down, stand one up. Um, and then if you've got a rope, you're going for 50 skips. If you don't have a rope, it'll be 50 star jumps. If you don't have any kit at all, the workout you're going to go for is 15 thrusters with a filled backpack. So you'd have put something in here and you'll do the same thing but with 15 reps because it's going to be a bit easier. Uh, five regular burpees and then 50 star jumps. So hopefully that'll make sense. Um, we're going to get started with a bit of a warm up. So to start with, I will grab your skipping rope or um, we're going to go star jumps. So we're going to alternate 20 seconds skips or star jumps, um, 10 seconds rest, and then uh, 20 seconds of bodyweight squats. Cool, right, so get started. Just going to set my watch. All right, so 20 seconds star jumps in three, two, one, go. Charlie saying she's doing it later. Nice. All right, so five seconds, then we're into those squats. Three, two, one. All right, so nice and low. Just try and think about the range to start with. So driving your knees out, keeping your chest up. What do you want to bet? Um, yeah, for now. How can you go the music still playing for some reason? Five seconds. And rest, all right, 10 seconds rest, then we're back on um, skipping.
make sure you're really driving your knees out, try and keep your hips open. All right, off we go, last time. Squeezing your butt up top. So keep your chest up. Try and squeeze shoulder blades together now. So we're just going to loosen up um, into your hips and ankles, so um, for these squats, for thrusters, or for any squats, you want to have good ankle mobility, um, so that will help you get it lower um, into your squat. So you're going to come into like a downward dog position, like this, take your right foot over onto your left calf, and then you're just going to bend your left leg, and then straighten it, so you're stretching your heel down towards the ground, and right ahead of me. So you might have to adjust your foot to really feel the stretch. It should be like right kind of down at the bottom of your calf. That's it, a few more. Really driving that heel down. Good, all right, swap sides. So right foot on the floor, now left foot just on top. And you're bending the knee and then pushing your heel down. So one side might be a bit better than the other, like my left side, I rolled my ankle last year, and it's a lot tighter now than my left side. So don't worry if yours is the same. That's it, good, last one. Brilliant, all right. Okay, so you're just gonna pop down in your squat. We're just gonna hold down here, use your elbows to drive your knees out, and you're kind of gonna kind of like move around a little bit, Try and settle now into the middle, using your elbows to really drive your knees out. So you should feel a bit of stretch on the inside. Make sure your heels are down. So if you're up here, that's fine. From wherever you are, make sure your body's upright. Open your arms out. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Up to the sky. Keeping your back nice and low. Swap sides. You should get a nice twist in your spine. pushing it overhead well. So we just want to warm up your shoulders a little bit. So we're just going to do five reps of an inchworm into the shoulder tap. So walk it out, tap either shoulder, and then walk it back in and stand all the way up. So keep bracing your core the whole time. That's it, walk it all in. That's it, lovely. Fast two. Keep that tummy tight. 
through a bit of a weighted warm up. So you're going to go for five goblet squats. So high, up and down, really driving those knees out. And then take that weight into your right arm. Five push press. And then swap sides. Five in your left arm. And then grab both of them. Five deadlifts. So this is going to be like a Romanian deadlift just to warm up your position a little bit. Get those hamstrings waking up a bit. So make sure when you do your burpee deadlifts that you're picking up the weight in the straight back. So you don't want to be like this at all. You want to keep putting your shoulder blades together as much as you can. All right, let's just do that one more time. Five squats. So you really want to make sure you're nice and warm for a workout like this, rather than just throwing yourself into it. I know that can be a temptation. That's it, five push press. Started. Um, so I'm going to put 20 minutes on the clock. Can you put the aircon on, please? It's warm. Um, so I'm going to put 20 minutes on the clock. If it gets to 20 minutes and you haven't finished, we're going to keep going. That's absolutely fine by me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then just sink into the stretch. I don't want you like right over here. I want you kind of squeezing your butt so you feel it in the hip flexor of the uh, knee that's down. Ease into it a bit more if you want to do too much stretch. Ooh. If you're sat down at a desk a lot of the day, if you're working from home now, these ones, um, your hip flexor will get tight. Just shift that back knee back a little bit. Straight in front leg, drawing your toes towards your face. Try and keep pulling your shoulders back. Just stretch your right hamstring. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, we'll be here again tomorrow, 12.30. See you then.